Hi and welcome to Cheeky Ratio's Rolled Fancy Feast Roast. The ingredients are in the recipe box below, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is dice our mushrooms. Then just dice our onions. Just peel and dice our garlic. dice our fatty bacon, that's going to provide the lubrication in the pan to get things started. Okay, to our flavour chef we're just going to add a bit of our fatty bacon which has been chopped up, that's going to provide fat in our pan. We've got some onions in there, we've got our diced mushrooms, we're throwing in a good pinch of freshly cracked pepper and about a half a teaspoon of salt that will draw the moisture out of the mushrooms and we'll sweat those right down. Once that's started to get a bit of colour on it, we're going to add our pine nuts and brown them off with our garlic. That's going to be spread with our cheese on top of our meat. So we just sweat that right off. While that's happening, we get our meat, about a teaspoon of veggie salt, good pinch of freshly cracked pepper, one fresh free range egg, and we're going to break up our bread. We're using multi-grain bread here. You could use gluten free if you're actually watching that side of your diet. And just break this all up. We're going to spread this out in a big flat patty onto some cling film or glad wrap. And just break that all up and we'll mix it all together. Just stir that all around, make sure it's all well combined. Now you can see all the moisture is evaporating out of that with the steam. In with our garlic now, and it's been on for about four minutes. In with our pine nuts, and we're just going to toast those off, and they'll give a nice creamy crunch as well. We've watched our rainbow chard or spinach taken off the stalky bits, and we're just going to lay those to wilt on top of this whilst it's turned off, and that'll make it a lot easier to manage. Keep that going for another few minutes. Okay, that's nicely brown now. We've just washed our spinach and we're just going to lay that out on top of there and it will actually sweat down and get really quite sloppy. We're going to turn it off. We need it to wilt down. You do this in the microwave if you like or on the stove top or on a steamer, but this will do just the same job. We've got it turned off and we just put that to one side. It's not going to actually cook. It's just going to get really quite soft and limp. I rinsed it in hot water so that would make it a little bit easier to work with. Before we get into making our giant meat patty, we're going to line our board with some cling film and lay our patty out on it. So just lift up the edge and cover it like so. Grab our meat now, mix it all up and flatten it all down on our prepared cling film. The bread will keep it nice and moist, the egg will bind it slightly, the salt and pepper will actually flavour it. You could put Italian herb, Vietnamese herb, any flavouring that you like in there. We just need to mix it all up so it's thoroughly combined and that bread will assist in binding it and it will also absorb some of those juices of the meat so they just don't run out and get wasted. Okay, just tip that out now, it's all mixed up properly. But now and we want to just press it out okay, until it's a nice even layer. It's a lovely big shape now. We're just going to get our spinach and just lay it out over our meat, keeping the edges free because we need to be able to seal it on itself. Okay, now sprinkle our cheese over everything, then our other mixture over everything. This is still quite warm. Just spread it out as evenly as you can. A bit more freshly cracked pepper and veggie salt over the whole deal. And now we're going to roll this up. So take that edge over, the big edge over, peel back your cling film and keep rolling. You need to encase this in the meat. Squeeze it all together. Now I'm going to cook that in a banquet fry pan because it's long enough to hold it and we're going to just drape it with bacon and baste it occasionally with barbecued sauce. Okay, over a medium heat we're going to add some olive oil. We'll probably have to put this little fella in on a diagonal because he's pretty darn big. And we're going to put him seam side down. There we go, in she goes. Okay, now let's bacon him up. Okay, move it on. We're going to put in about a cup of water to steam it at the same time and let it do its thing. Okay, that's cooking along nicely now. We've just got a bit of water in there and that's steaming it at the same time, just on a medium heat. Now, for our base, we've got some brown sugar to which we're going to add just a tablespoon or so of sweet chili sauce. That's not too hot. Mix that all around. We're going to be adding store-bought barbecue sauce to this because I haven't got any homemade at the moment. 
and we're just going to mix that all in and that's going to be our base towards the end of the cooking time because the sugar content will actually make that burn so it's going to give it a delightful flavor and that sugar will dissolve okay after 45 minutes it's time to get dressed so we just get our basting sauce here and just slather it on nice and thick and rich you can't turn this over so this is going to give the much needed color because it's basically sort of been steamed you could roast this if you want to it's just smelling pretty fine another 15 minutes or so and we'll baste it again and then it'll be ready to serve okay here's the fun part i'm going to try and get that out of there and stick it onto this tray so fingers crossed stainless steel so it shouldn't be stuck it shouldn't be but the sugar in the glaze might be a bit of a problem okay we're loose okay here we go okay we'll just turn this pan off now let that rest for a little while we've got some broccoli that has got white sauce on it or bechamel sauce on it and we've just got some steamed pumpkin because there's lots of vegetables in that already okay we're just going to carve this now and i'll show you what it looks like inside quite a sharp knife i don't normally carve onto a metal tray but i need you to see how delicious and succulent this looks inside cut yourself some hearty slabs there okay moment of truth Oh, ah, look at that. It's absolutely divine. It smells amazing. Moist and tender and delicious. Thanks for watching.